So first of all, all of this together is these are portfolio level conversations, right? I, I, what we've seen is investors pushing all their money in on just one answer, right? So whether it's large cap tech or whatever it may be, uh, investors essentially got over indexed to the U.S. and growth. Now, that's a good part of a portfolio. That's important. But if you're over-indexed to that, you can't really shift as easily in the context of being opportunistic if you're down. SAP is a great example of some balance, right? Hurt because it's uh, in Europe. It's a tech name. So tech, it's, but it's a cheap tech name, and it's really a, global, a really a global company. So it's not terrifically expensive. It does have a nice dividend. As investors shift from the multiples on revenue to net income to the balance sheet, as you shift through that attitude change, you're going to want to look for those that are more, that are stronger in the latter two, and SAP is one. Right. So it's sort of like saying the dividend is one aspect of what you're looking for. But again, I mean, the dividend's a moving target right now, not just because of stock prices, but also because of bond yield. So a dividend that might have looked attractive at 2.5% last year might not look so attractive anymore. And bonds, high-quality fixed income looks more attractive. The reality is... What we've seen is real rates rise in the United States as fast as they did in the taper tantrum. And prior to that, there was no other time when they rose this quickly. So bonds actually are starting to be relatively better. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in a rising rate environment, what you've seen is dividend payers with cash flow, right, with the ability to actually give you money back today, actually have outperformed those that don't have dividends, that don't have that cash flow. So it's not, it's not an either or question. Actually, both sides are, are protective. Final question, what are you watching for signs that this market has bottomed? <sighs> when everybody comes on your show and says, I throw in the towel, yeah. sell it all. <laughs> um, we're, we're being driven at this point by sentiment uh, as much as by fundamentals. And, and there is going to be, everyone should prepare for a time of higher volatility. We're in a market regime change, right? Less liquidity, again, moving from thinking about uh, the revenue line to net income and balance sheet. This is all happening in real time. So we're shifting. And the great thing is investors can, are finding today opportunities for the medium to long term. And that's what we're focused on here at Thornburg. But you're too constructive for your own good. You know that. You, you know, it's only when, when you're going home and saying, you know, I don't know, maybe I should find something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, some days you, you, everybody's got those days. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Jason, thanks for your time. It's good to see you. Jason Brady with Thornburg. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.